When the zombie apocalypse is finally here, you'll have to be aware of certain places that might offer as much protection when it comes to surviving the end of days. Today we've got a list on you based on various factors such as elevation, access to hospitals, physical fitness, firearm ownership, and so on. If the virus breaks out, these states could be in serious trouble and just might not be ready for it. From flat states in the Midwest to places with dense population, here are the worst states to survive the zombie apocalypse. In case you thought you were ready for the zombie apocalypse, think again. Number 13, Iowa. Although it is suggested to try to find somewhere remote away from large urban areas, a farm town isn't a great option. The flat terrain allows you to scope out zombies for miles and you'll have plenty of food to survive, right? Zombies will most likely be able to walk across flat land and easily maneuver their way to your farmhouse hideout. The tall crops surrounding the house could make for perfect cover for zombies to sneak through. And forget about your livestock. Imagine coming outside only to discover all the brains missing from your cattle. Not a great scene. The scent of cows and other animals will certainly lure other zombies or looters to your house. So try to choose wiser. Number 12. California California is a pretty large state with plenty of mountains and trees to keep you safe. There's also a decent military presence here, which keeps it from going too low on our list. The main problem with trying to survive the zombie apocalypse here is that the zombie apocalypse could strike and people would just think it was another strange thing going on in the state. There might already be zombies walking around here and people would think nothing of it. Since California is so densely populated, the virus could potentially spread quickly too. We've seen cases of bubonic plague, which really haven't been around since medieval times. California also has a rat infestation problem, and we all know how rats can spread diseases of all kinds. Workers in downtown LA have already caught typhus, which spreads from fleas. If you're going to try to survive the zombie apocalypse in this state, it's best to get to the mountains in the north and try to avoid the wildfires. Hopefully traffic isn't too bad. Number 11. Florida Florida is one of the most populous states in the U.S., and unless you're able to build a hideout in the Florida Keys, it's hard to recommend Florida as a place to hide out at. Florida is possibly the flyest state in the country, and anywhere outside an urban area is a giant swamp teamed with alligators. While it might seem useful to live close to the beach, it could ultimately come back to bite you unless you got a boat. The zombies might try to drive you out and into the ocean. Florida is also susceptible to natural storms like hurricanes, which can certainly disrupt any hideout you try to build. If people are already crazy in this state, imagine how they'll start acting when the zombie apocalypse goes down. Luckily, Florida has a decent presence of military to fight off the unliving. Many of the boomers living here might not be in good condition to put up a fair fight. Florida also ranks high with the possibility of getting mosquito-transmitted illnesses, which could spread the virus. And all those Lamborghini sports cars out there might be too low to the ground, making them vulnerable to zombie attacks. Number 10. Delaware Delaware is a pretty small state in the eastern part of the country and it's surrounded by highly populated cities. It's next to the state of New Jersey and also Philadelphia to the north. To the west is our nation's capital. Refugees from the zombie apocalypse might eventually invade Delaware in a matter of a few days. And there wouldn't be anything the state can do about it. It only has about 3,350 military personnel who need to go up against potentially millions of zombies. The state is also very flat with only a few coastal islands to hide out at. One of the best places to go in this state would be Fort Delaware, which is situated on an island in a moat. The state could possibly survive if they cut off freeway access from neighboring states. But then how are they going to get out? Number 9. Oregon Zombies would certainly keep Portland weird if the breakout were to happen. This would definitely be a tough place to try to rough it out for a while. The western half of Oregon is highly populated, making it susceptible to disease outbreak while the western half is mostly desert land. The best way to try to survive in this state would be to hide out in a greener part of the state near a remote lake. It would be best for Oregonians to head east to the Rocky Mountains and hide out somewhere in Idaho, such as Boise for example. It's not the worst place to survive at the end of the days, but you could definitely go with some better options. Number 8. Hawaii You might think to yourself, hey, Hawaii might be a good place to survive the zombie apocalypse since it's so far away from everything else, but you might want to think twice about surviving here. The risk of the virus spreading to the islands would certainly cause panic among the islanders and for good reasons. Since it's fairly isolated from the rest of the states, getting supplies here would be difficult and getting off would be also hard too. It's possible that people might not even want to take the risk of shipping supplies here and just forget that we ever annex this place. If you're going to try to live in this state, you might want to get to a higher elevation. Luckily, Hawaii does have some pretty tall mountains that could be used to your advantage. The soil is also fertile to grow some crops, but you just have to watch out for the zombies. Number 7. Washington, D.C. Despite the president having access to several zombie apocalypse bunkers, you can probably assume that the average everyday citizen will get the chance to go to those places. 
Our nation's capital is also a bad place to go during the zombie apocalypse, and many have complained about the horrible traffic here. The district also ranks low for firearm ownership, which might make it get overrun by zombies. Other than Capitol Hill or Mount Vernon, there really isn't a lot of spots that give you a good vantage point of what's going on in the midst of the chaos. While there might be a decent amount of military in the area, it's hard to put all your eggs in one basket here. Just hopefully, the president will let some people in his underground bunker or at Raven Rock in the case of emergency. Number 6. Rhode Island This small state is about the same size as the National Nevada Security Site, but it has way less firepower to protect people. The population density in this state is pretty high, which will result in the virus spreading quicker. To top it off, there aren't a whole lot of mountains or firearms which could be useful for protection. Rhode Island really isn't an island at all and is vulnerable to getting invaded by survivors in other states such as Massachusetts or New York. There are only 3,300 active military troops ready to protect the state, which definitely makes it susceptible to complete chaos. Number 5. Louisiana With an obesity rate of 35% in the state, it's not too hard to imagine why running away from zombies might be difficult. It's not just the Popeye's chicken sandwich here that's got people acting like zombies. This state has some of the most putrid swamps in the country, which makes it close to impossible to survive for a long period of time. While some of the swamps might have food like crawdads or alligators to feast on, the state is flat as a board. Good luck trying to get any vantage point at all in the bayou, and with all those mosquitoes here, the virus could spread like wildfire. The state has the fourth worst health care in the country, which shows how it's just not ready to handle the widespread zombie apocalypse which is about to happen. Number 4. Kansas Another flat state makes our list, but luckily it's close to the Rocky Mountains to the east. Landlocked smack dab in the middle of the country, this large and featureless state might drive many into pure insanity. There are very few places to hide from zombies unless you somehow are able to find an abandoned missile silo, which certainly won't be easy. You will not only have to worry about the zombies, but also tornadoes and freezing cold weather during the winter. It might also be a ground zero for an apocalyptic scenario if a bioweapons testing center gets hit by a storm. Number 3. New Jersey New Jersey is ranked high for one of the worst places to survive the zombie apocalypse, and here's why. It's one of the most densely populated areas in the world. Everyone already knows that New York City will be one of the hardest hit areas if the virus is able to spread there. New Yorkers will most likely try to escape and head into New Jersey via Lincoln Tunnel to hide out. Who knows if this tunnel will be blocked off? With almost no mountains at all, there's not going to be a whole lot of effective choices to try to hide out in this state. The best way for New Yorkers to go would be to head east to Long Island. And in some places like Camden, New Jersey, it already looks like the zombie apocalypse has struck. Number 2. Connecticut Connecticut is situated on the eastern coast of the United States and certainly has its good and bad things about living there. Here, you got Ivy League schools like Yale, green pastures, and beautiful beaches during summertime. The bad side? This state isn't ready for the zombie apocalypse. Many people have already been choosing to move out of this state, and the ones still living here don't seem too prepared. They rank low for gun ownership, and the low elevation here makes finding a hiding spot a little bit tricky. You could probably pick a warmer climate to survive the rest of your days. In any case, you might be able to get inside one of the nuclear submarines found in New London, or get to Obama's new house on the coast. People here are also kind of out of shape, which makes it difficult for them to run from zombies. And before we get to our number 1, which state do you think is the most dangerous to live in during the zombie apocalypse? Let us know in the comments section, and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. And number 1. Mississippi This state ranks dead last in healthcare and comes in at our number 1 worst state to survive the zombie apocalypse. It ranks as number 1 in the country for people with diabetes and it's already a difficult state for people to live a healthy life. Over 40% of adults here haven't seen a dentist in over a year, so maybe the zombie bites won't be quite as dangerous. But the education isn't known for being all that good and you have to wonder what kind of strategies they might have to come up with. Maybe you can survive for a while living on a riverboat? Or possibly raid a casino down in Biloxi? Who knows? Living here is also like living in a swamp. Alright, do you guys feel like you're more ready for the zombie apocalypse now? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time!